Hi there. Thanks for joining in and welcome to Code Box. In this tutorial, we will walk through how to implement a simple CSRF token protection in PHP. If you want to follow along, the code download is on the Code Box website. Link in the description box below. Let us start with a quick explanation of CSRF. CSRF stands for Cross-Site Request Forgery. In simple terms, a fake request from one website to another. An example will better illustrate this. First, we have a delete account form on site A. All the user has to do, is to type in confirm and submit the form. Take note that this form submits to delete.php. Then, we have website B that will bait users into clicking a fake form. While nothing seems wrong at first, a quick inspection will reveal the secrets. This is actually a hidden form that submits to delete the account on site A. This is CSRF in a nutshell. While modern firewalls and servers can be configured to ignore requests from other websites, it is not foolproof. That is why we have to implement a token mechanism for better protection. Step 1. Generate a random token. First, we start the user session. Then, store a random string into the token session variable. Generate some random bytes. Turn it into a string using the binary to hex function. Next, create the HTML form as usual. Lastly, insert the token into a hidden field. Step 2. Submit and verify token. Now that the token generation is complete, all that's left is verification. Before processing the form submission, we start the session. Make sure that the token is submitted, and set in the session. Then, simply counter check the submitted token versus the one in the session. Proceed only if both match. At this stage, the basic CSRF protection is complete. Cross-site attacks will not work as long as bad websites cannot get a hold on the token. But take note an attack is still possible if the token is leaked. To minimize this risk, 
we can set an expiry time on the token. Simply register another timestamp in the session. We will set it to 1 hour from now in this example. Then on submission, we also check if the token has expired. This will give hackers less time and chances to get the token. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.